this hopefully is going to be a better run. I've done a couple of both runs, got one Tebow on the tube, but I want to get a better one. So this is going to be the one for the day. Uh, gear is a standard. Ring of the Gods plus Devout Boots gives you basically infinite prayer, so don't need Eldritch, don't need anything like that. And even if you camp your prayer for the entirety of the run, you should be completely fine. Bruise you could always bring plus one or two. Range Pot you could drop one. Um, otherwise the gear is pretty standard. You can upgrade to Sanfu if you're 97 prayer. Uh, the rest is in the description, so you know the drill. Let's get started. As usual, we'll be running through some of the basic stuff on the first two waves and applying that all the way through to Major Ranger. Once we get to Major Ranger, it's a bit of a focus on safe spotting stuff instantly and then using basically just a big DPS thing to clear one or two NPCs and then having the same solves going forward. So it's a nice simple run as always. And this is of course max gear, so you can always downgrade. The hood is a Missouri Mars, it just looks better because of transmog. Let's go. For the Bofa setup, can you use Nightmare Staff since the upgrade pouch lets you have all the runes you need? Uh, you probably can do, yeah, if you if you want to. You can upgrade stuff as, as needed, it doesn't really matter. As long as you're not bringing like just the Eldritch, stuff like that, it's fine. So, we always start back on the pillar, drop a couple of restores, brews, whatever it is, and range prey up. I'm gonna try and target the middle nibbler, and for cleaning up nibblers we use blowpipe. So we try and get into our tank gear, and go from there. NPCs will die fast, uh, uh, their death animation will disappear because we have Entity Hider on. And for these waves, we don't really need to use Ellie. So we're just gonna send one barrage, clean up the blowpipe. And because these waves are quite early on, we don't have to worry about anything. We can just uh, click the NPC and let it die. Don't be afraid when there's uh, one type of NPC. So in this case, it's just ranged bats and that's fine. If you wanna one tick your prayers, that's good. If you can't do it, then don't worry. Double nibbler wave, let's be brave and stand up front. One barrage and switch the blowpipe to clean up. Same again. Good. Now we're on to blobs. So here's how we deal with blobs. Nice and easy. There's the blob. Switch our prayers after the wave starts. And when the blob hits us from close range, we wait a tick and then switch our prayers. Wait a tick, switch your prayers. Wait a tick, switch your prayers. No counting, nothing like that involved. Super simple. When the blob is far away, say this far away, what we do is we switch our prayers as soon as it hits us. Attack comes in, switch your prayer. And you will always be on time for a blob. Simple as. Nothing complex about blobs. And you use this to deal with any scenario for blobs. When I get to about here again, I wait a tick, then I switch. Hits me, wait a tick, switch. That's all it is. Now for killing blobs and dealing with blobs, we're going to bring them back to the pillar, to the standard start place. And whenever we kill them, there's different setups. So this is the first setup, this is the most common setup. And we got to kill them. It's from this tile here. We can also kill them from these tiles. And whenever we do kill them, we have to stand still and pray range. So Blob dies, stand still and pray range, and you get this little formation. Only the ranger can see you, the melee is safe spotted. One ice barrage, and then switch the blowpipe to clean up. Sometimes the major is not frozen and it can come around. So you have to pray major at the end of this and just be wary of it. But blobs are super simple, and that's how we're going to deal with all of them from that side of the pillar. One barrage, and we start flicking the blob. Take a second to just chill. I can send another barrage, or just let it autocast. And now we're going to come back to the bat safe spot while flicking the blob. So we're just letting it hit me, and then I'm switching my prayer. And that's all it is. So, we need this tile marked. This is our 50 star tile. And then this is our bat safe spot, just one across. So don't no, no need to mark loads of tiles, just one or two is fine. Whenever we can do, we're going to try and pull blobs back close into the pillar. And for blobs on the west side of North Pillar, we're going to kill them from the west side. On, on Well, from the south side over here. While they're on the west side. And it's the same deal. You have to stand here or further back. And then pray range. You cannot stand here. One barrage. Gets a good number so we can switch our gear and then clean up with blowpipe. Simple as. There are, those are the two big blob setups. Other setups will require you to step in. Okay, let's pray mage for the blob and run back towards the north pillar. And what we're doing here is we're isolating at least one bit, one big NPC and then dragging everything in. If you're not sure what's happening on a wave, let it drag in and then assess it. So here, it's just the blob and he's stuck. We're going to pray against him and deal with him in a completely normal way. This barrage is going to get the bat as well, which is quite nice. And now it's just the mage alive, so a bit of mage pray. And then on the last bat. 
Let's not get drained any run energy. Great. So, two loves. One barrage. Sit still. And now this guy is over here. He's safe spotting us from going that side. So we may as well go and deal with this guy anyway. Now normally when you kill blobs you want to stand close to them. So that you can get a good barrage off. But this guy is going to come around the pillar. So you have to be a little bit careful. Let's finish with blowpipe. And all this time we're flicking the back blob over here. He's come round, so what we're going to do is we're going to stand next to him. Going to blow pipe walk around, which should be a nice easy skill to learn or try and get some practice with. And we're going to try and clump them by standing next to him. Again, keeping this melee close to everything else so that we can get a good barrage off. And if you're ever low HP, you can try and heal off blobs as well. For these waves, double nibbler waves, you can always use blood barrage to get a big heal. And then just finish with another barrage and then into blow pipe. North Pillar is very easy to protect, so we're not going to be anywhere near concerned about protecting it. Um, we can always get to it as the wave starts. Okay. One barrage, and it's just a melee. Let's clean up this stray nibbler, and then we can go back on the melee. And uh, we can also clean up nibblers here because it's just one NPC, and we can pray against it. So all these early waves, don't be afraid of stuff. Try and play with your prayers. But uh, don't just run away needlessly. And the idea is, if you run away for every start of wave, You'll develop bad habits. So we're on North Pillar, one barrage, switch to our tank gear, and just have a think. The melee is stuck, let's go after the Nidlers. The bat's over here, we can just kill it. Bats we can just nuke, so this is all fine. And then we want to go and get control of the melee, and at the very least, tank it a little bit, to make sure it doesn't move, because if it hits you, it can't dig for a little period of time. We can try flick a little bit. You don't have to flick a lot, just a little bit. You can also safe spot it. You can learn the safe spot. So this here would safe spot it on that side of the pillar. If in doubt, go to the melee wave and play around with it. And uh, we're 50 press, so let's sip a restore. One barrage. Switch to our proper gear. And let's go after the bat. This is a nice demonstration of how the melee works. Let's send another barrage. And as you can see, when we're on the side of the pillar, it's stuck on us. If we take a step out this way, it will see us. If we take a step back, it's still stuck. And you can always do this and test NPCs if you're not sure. Let's get control of the melee. This is a really common theme. You want as much control of the melee as possible. Looking rigor like this with your protection prayer on is really nice as well. And you have plenty of prayer to do this. Great. So, back on pillar, one barrage, and have a think. Don't move, don't do anything too rash. Let's flick the blob. Now this nibble is going over to that pillar. Let's ignore it and kill the blob. The melee is gatekeeping me anyway, so I may as well come across and kill blob. Mage pray for the bees is good. It's a good barrage. Now I can pray melee. And I'm going to blow by bulk over to that nibbler, trying to click the melee on the way. And now I can kill the nibbler. No problem. In these waves, we're going to try and keep our HP around about 60 or higher. More is better, obviously. But if in doubt, you can always blood barrage for more healing. Let's do one barrage and just assess. Not going to nibble or chase that. Let's go for the blob. For this guy, when he dies, you want to step in here. And this is a really standard setup. The melee's coming around the pillar, so let's pray melee. And we're just barraging the middle one. Let's burn one blowpipe spec with Rigoron. Just in case we get a little bit of a heal. Making sure it dies. Now we can go for the bat. Then we can do a Kodai Occult and maybe Blood Barrage this guy for a bit of a healing. Sending another one. Get a Phantom going. Better to finish with Blowpipe, but if there's just one left, it's alright. Back into our proper gear and back on the pillow. One Barrage. And it looks like there's one going over there again. Not a problem. Let's kill these bats. Use a bit of rigor. Now let's kill the melee. I'm coming up to stand in melee range and just flicking my rigor. And I'm not going to rush those nibblers. There's no need. Okay. Now let's get control of the blob. And make sure we're flicking it correctly. We can switch our gear and go for the nibblers. Wait a tick before it, uh, before it lands. Then switch. Wait a tick, then switch. Same as always. 
Now let's find a way to kill this blob properly. So you can kill him from this side as well, when he's on this side of the pillar. And it's the same drill, you have to stand up next to him. And now let's do a blood barrage for some healing. So you can switch between ice barrage and blood barrage as needed. Ice barrage is a bit more damage, blood barrage obviously kills you. More prayer. One barrage and stand still. Whenever this blob stops, switch your prayer. It attacks a tick after. I'm gonna pipe that down. As soon as this hits me, switch my prayer. Same thing applies. Let's go around the pillar and start flicking this guy. When he dies, I stand next to him. One barrage. It's not a good barrage, so let's go for another one. Oh, okay, the middle one died, so let's not, let's not bother. Let's just pray magic. And I've taken a step back from the pillar because this here is a safe spot. If I'm here, this NPC can't come around. Likewise, if I'm here, this NPC can't come around. And we're going to use this safe spot for melees later on. Melee's dug at me, I'm just going to stand still and let it wiggle out. If I click weirdly, if I click on it, it could drag me out in a bad place. So I'm not going to do anything other than just stand still. Maybe a little bit of flicking for simple NPCs. Get used to the idea of flicking, be a bit more comfortable with it. And now we're going to use this blob again in the same position as before, standing here or further back, but not where the super restores are. Praying range, standing still, and running all the way back. So this next thing is a phantom barrage, which gives you a lot more healing. You can take off your negatives, put augury on, blood barrage on either of these two guys, and then cast it again instantaneously. You'll get the XP drop, but it will also include the healing from the one that had died. So you'll get about 40 HP per double phantom. So when we get pretty low, we'll use that a bit more often. Now it's double melee. Same NPC, let's not be scared. So we can be up in the middle of the room, send the barrage, and clean up the middles already. It looks scary, but if you don't touch your prayers, this is completely fine. And let's use more restore. Again, we have infinite supplies, infinite restore. Don't shy away from using it. And if you want to flick rigor here to make it go a bit faster, great. Good. After two big NPCs converge, we have double nibblers. No need to ever use augury for nibblers, it doesn't do anything anyway. So one barrage, not a very big one, let's do one more barrage and then switch to blowpipe. So we always clean up with blowpipe. Is this enough supplies to camp a protection prayer? Yeah, more or less. You may have to flick a tiny, tiny bit. Now it's only a singular ranger, so after one barrage, let's go and click it. You can do the math. So right now, my prayers have 6 minutes 41 remaining, with 82. So let's say I have 7 minutes of prayer. That equates to about 8 minutes of prayer per... per 8 minutes of... Per, sorry, 8 minutes of prayer per, uh, per restore. 8 minutes per restore. And I brought in... I'll uh, check it in a second. So now this is a ranger and a bat. It's still all ranged, so there's no need to hide behind a pillar. Let's just stand in the middle of the room and just kill stuff. Jesus. Roundabout moment. So we have uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 restores. 15 times 8. So yes, I have a lot of restore. 120? Is that 120 minutes? So for a first cape, it'll be a little bit low maybe, but... You have to flick a tiny, tiny bit, if that. Maybe it's more than that, actually. I don't know if I just misspoke. Yeah. Again, it's only bats here, so let's just be aggressive. And besides, if you want to save some prey, you can just... One tick. If you one tick every ranger, or flick a little bit, you're fine. But you've got to remember, across a 100-minute cape, you're not flicking 100% of the time. Like, my prayer is off right now, and it's off for 10 seconds every wave. But that's already a lot of time, nothing's happening. Okay, let's run away and isolate the big NPC. Notice I wasn't trying to flick the blob as I was doing that. Now I'm trying to flick it because it's the only NPC I'm working with. Let's flick the blob one more time. And now let's come round the pillar praying range. If you wait for the blob to attack before you round a pillar, it'll never hit you again. Let's use one blowpipe spec to get a little bit more HP. And off we go. So doing this will conserve your prayer. You don't need to, but it will help a little bit. And we're again not very worried about those nibblers. Step in, switch your gear, mage prey, one barrage, into your tank gear, and clean up. There's two nibblers, so I'm going to send one ice barrage, and then I'm going to get a bit closer to them to see if I need to clean up on it. I don't, okay. So, Ranger Blob is beginning to get scary, let's go back behind our north pillar. One barrage and duck behind. Try and catch the blob flick, which is very nice. And let's drag the ranger in by killing this blob over here. 
I can then stand up next to it to, to allow it to clump, which is really nice. And if I want to, I can hit the bat from behind it to not deal with it later. So letting NPCs stack naturally is really nice. Fairly simple to do. One barrage into our tank gear. Finish up on this guy. Okay, and now it's only a ranger. Again, we can deal with the nibblers. Maybe send a freeze and get ready to clean up on it. So there should be nothing complex at this stage. Just a couple of really nice blob solutions and a good means to get some HP back and that's around it. Gonna want to take a little bit of these mages, uh, a little bit of these rangers. The mages I'm just gonna camp mage prey, maybe flick a bit of mage prey. That's about it. Let's pick up our restore. One barrage. And let's hide from the blob and the bats. Let's just get behind the pillar. If there's a nibbler on your north pillar, you can come all the way back and you can barrage from this tile here. And it will nothing on the south side will see you. Unless it's coming from over here. Okay, now let's drag the ranger in and flick the blob. If we want to come and stand next to the blob, we've got to pray range for it because the major because the ranger is going to see us. Otherwise, we can just stay back here and let the melee come to us. No problem. Okay, back on pillar. One barrage. Let's hide from the ranger and flick the blobs. They saw me together, so they'll attack me together, which means I can flick them together. I'm going to wait for this to hit me, switch my prayer, then go around the pillar. And again, this means they don't ever check your next attack, so you can just get away scot-free. So we're being a bit patient and letting things stack up. If you're in control of multiple blobs, it's okay. And now it doesn't matter which one of these I really kill, I'm going to kill the first one over here. And then I'll kill the second one properly. For this, I'm going to come and stand close to it. And I'm flicking the back blob while I do this. Another barrage and into my tank gear. We don't want to barrage too much like that because we're pretty weak while we do it. And we're just flicking the back blob. Now I want to heal, so I'm going to take a bit more damage to show you what it's like to heal easily with blobs. Assuming I get hit. Please hit me. There's a good lad. So we're 62 HP. Let's kill the blob from this side. Again, anywhere, back here or further. We go pretty far back, switch to our good gear, augury on, one barrage and instantly cast again. Second barrage, third barrage, not a fantastic barrage set, now we've got to pray mage. That's about as unlucky as, well it's about as unlucky as you get and that was 15 HP heal. Average heal is around 35. Okay, more restore. Range prey, one freeze. And it looks like these two guys are both here, so let's freeze these guys again. And the melee is quite far away, so let's click this guy, and then come back on the pillar. Now I'm not going to rush clicking that, because it's going to drag us. Instead, let's just stand anywhere on these tiles here, and kill melee. Now it's closer, we can kill this fella. And then of course it's a single ranger on its own, so let's go both back it, get some HP, instead of wasting our time healing. Not a great one, unlucky. And just kill it as normal. A speed guide? I'm gonna do some sub-65 stuff, but there's no there's no real point doing anything below that right now. People can go to Inferno Discord. Let's uh, blood barrage this to get some healing. It's just a melee and it's quite far away, so I can go for this guy as well, just to clear up. Now let's go back on pillar, and uh, this melee is gonna get to me, so let's just run behind the pillar. And we can let the melee round. In fact, I can demonstrate the melee safe spot. So, the melee try and pulls into the pillar. It means I can come and stand here, and it means I can come one further back as well. And he's still stuck on the pillar. So you can come down here and drag NPCs alongside, if it's the melee. Or up here will safe spot. An example of the space safe spot is like this. So we can open, we can trap NPCs on both this side over here and this side over here, by standing on the corners. And I can take a step back to release it, and a step back in to re-trap it. 
These are just really nifty mechanics that you need to know for your first cape that will make your life super easy. Uh, I'm not doing Bofa today. I've already got two guides up on YouTube for the Bofa, so I'll do it a bit less frequently. I wanted to get a better Tebow cape guide up. Okay. Another barrage, and then stand still and assess. One barrage. Whenever a melee spawns over here or here, it will come to you. So let's hide behind the pillar and deal with it. Ignoring that nibbler. This nibbler does not matter. Let's kill the melee. If you want to kill it faster, let's activate rigor and make sure it dies quickly so we can deal with the nibbler more effectively. Now, if I stand over here, I may not be able to freeze this because it's going to drag me out, as you can see. So what we want to do is always take a step back and attack from this tile here. Now, there's only a ranger on this side, so let's just go click the nibbler. We can just pray ranger against it. When this guy dies, we take a step back, go to the bat safe spot. Take a step back, lets us conserve a prayer and take a breather, and then kill the bats. And even Tebow this guy. Huge Tebow. Okay. Back to our starting tile. One barrage. And I just stand still and flick the blob. This guy's trapped, this guy's trapped. Okay. Now let's go kill the blob. When you deal with the blob over here, you want to kill it from this tile here. Touching it on its north side. This means the ranger can't see you. It's one tile too far away. If I take a step in, now it can see me. The praying ranger is fine there as well if you're not sure. Now we don't want the melee to dig. Let's come round to this side of the pillar. Oh, okay. Bit late. Doesn't matter. Let's kill the ranger. Stopping it from digging is kind of nice. Doesn't matter at these ways, but it's good to get into a habit for it. And now we can go kill the mage, uh, the melee, and come up through it and pray melee. Again, don't be afraid. Get some practice flicking. The more comfortable you are, the better player you'll be. The more scenarios you can handle, and the easier this will be. Okay. Let's sip more restore. We're never going to shy away from using supplies. One barrage, and let's go around the pillar. It's only a ranger here. Blob hits me, doesn't matter, we're going to heal. By standing here, these guys are aligned. If I take a step in, they'll be a bit shifted across and the melee will get stuck. So standing here brings things round. Standing in the middle brings things all behind the pillar. Sometimes you want this to happen. As we can see, the melee is trapped. If I take a step down, it will drag with me. Same thing as before. If I take one more step, it's going to be free of the pillar. So we have to be a little bit careful. Let's use Rigger to kill this guy. Don't like dealing with melees, it's really slow. And uh, let's work on the blob on the bat. Again, anywhere here is fine. Range prey to end. One barrage. It's okay. Switch into proper gear. And finish up with proper gear. Okay. So we've gone through a couple of principles now for dealing with things. Let's see how these next few waves go. These are the more complex ones. Let's just stand still, have a think. Nothing's here, it's all safe spotted. Uh, let's go kill this bat, maybe, since it's right here. Now let's go back around and kill this guy. We're just leaving the blob to be on his own. We don't really care about the blob. I don't even need to look at the ranger since I'm praying range. Doing this too early? Bit of a mistake. Gotta let it drag around. Don't be too impatient. Now I want to take control of the melee to stop it from digging. So after the ranger attacks, I can take a step in and then come back out. I'm keeping line of sight of the ranger to time my attacks and I'm right clicking the tile. So as long as you have line of sight of everything, you can really time things quite well. More restore. And just a blob left. So he's in this position, which means we kill him from this side of the pillar, and then take a step in. This is a slight improvement to killing it over the south side. Take a step in, barrage the middle one. And it's a slight improvement because the melee is trapped. 
and the melee is frozen, so I take a step back and now I can attack him. If I attack him from here, I get pulled out, which is not good. Same principle, everyone is safe spotted on these tiles. One barrage. Let's duck behind the pillar instantly and flick this block. Everything is up here. Now, these guys create a barrier that lets the ranger down, but if I want the ranger to slide into the pillar, I take a step across to make space for him. Okay, now I've got a bit of a weird stack. If I come out this side, I'll be seen by the blob at the back and the ranger, so I can alternate. And this is the first example of using this skill, which is going to be present throughout the entire run. So we want to just start alternating immediately. If you're not sure, what you can do is you can camp range prey and then alternate on the next cycle, which looks a bit like... The, well, let me kill this melee first. Again, we don't just click him, otherwise we'll be dragged out. We just wait for him and let him wiggle out. We're going to kill faster. Maybe a blowpipe spec for fun. Not a great one, but I got some HP back. We're never going to use two pipe specs because we need to reserve at least one for an emergency, preferably two in the later waves. Okay. So if you want to start a blob cycle, you can always come out and take one hit, and then start flicking on the next cycle, like this. One hit's fine. And this alternation will always, 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 always work against infinite amounts of blobs. And if, you go, if you're confident enough, you can just instantly go. Normally we keep alternating until the blob attacks, then we go. And for these two guys, we just kill the front one. They're going to be on time together. And now we flick the back one. Bit of blood brush here. Not a very high one, let's go again. That's better. Into our proper gear. Kill this guy and then go behind the pillar. Still flicking the back one. Now that he's in position, we can use him to blood barrage with a phantom. So let's kill him. Prey range, get him all the way back. Tank gear on. Augury on. One barrage, automatically casted, oh, sorry, manually casted. And then a second one, and we're 99. So that's a much better heal this time, and that's a bit more how it should be. That's, got, that's our main like method of healing. One barrage and stand still. Click the ground in case you get dragged out. And it looks like these guys are trapped. Sorry for the noise. Let's get control of this melee and kill the back one. Because the back one we're not in control of, but the front one we are in control of. So we get rid of the one we're not in control of. Now we kill the front one. We got some races on the track today. So we're nearly at the major, and we, we've used a grand total of two restores, I think. If I sip this one now, I've used, yeah, two restores to get to major. And this is with pretty much no flipping. So we should be ending up with around six or seven restores for Zuck without flicking, currently. If we want to flick a bit more, like this, we'll get a few more restores. But clearly we have an infinite amount of supplies. Alright. Now it's two rangers, so let's be aggressive and stand up front. No reason to hide behind a pillar when it's two of these guys. We can practice our blowpipe walking. This is a skill you're going to need to have to deal with healers at Zug, so don't stop practicing this whenever opportunity, whenever an opportunity presents it. And you can get pretty good at this stuff. It's just nice timing. It's the same timing as like a Wook's walk pipe walk out or anything like that. Great. Now it's double nimbler. No need to be afraid or pray. One big ice barrage. Switch to blowpipe to clean up. Doesn't matter if three are alive, don't bother switching back to mage gear, just clean them up. Pipe is always better. And now we're on major. So let's begin praying mage for these waves. If you want to switch your quick prayers, you can do. Back into our gear, and again, we're not going to be afraid. Just click the boss. Pray mage, camp it if you want to, flick it if you want to, flick rigor if you want to, whatever makes you comfy. Lovely. Now it's a major and a bat. So two different attack styles, let's be a bit more careful. Major is stuck, let's pray for the bat, and kill it. Normally you want to kill the major first, but in instances with bats you can just kill them, no problem. Let's do a bit of flicking practice with this major. I'm full HP, so if I take a hit it's okay. I can just brew, you can always tick eat things if you have to. Bats 
that's respawned. Let's not worry about it. Respawning doesn't change the attack cycle of the major. Now let's kill the mech. NPC mech sits in the inferno. Uh, well, gotta be a bit specific, I guess. Major hits 70, though. One barrage and stand still. Let's hide from everything. Bring it a bit closer to us. Now let's go to the bat safe spot. I can do this at any point in time, because the major's gonna be stuck up here somewhere, but the bats can't get to me. And I'm just gonna ignore that nibbler. No reason to deal with it, let's just ignore it. If I want to get to them faster, I can always flick rigor and camp my mage prey. So if I'm ever in a rush, just flick rigor, and look how quickly it dies. Now I can prey range, I'm still not going to go for the nibblers. Because I don't want bats to drain me on my run, I just don't really want it. Take a step back to bat safe spot while I finish him off. And a two-way Kodai with Ice Barrage should be enough to clean him up, if not just cast again. And just keep casting. Okay. Back towards the pillar, gear on. You can always put Ellie on for this, it's just an extra switch. I was meant to be praying mage there, but I wasn't. And now let's flick the blob. Now, I would like to kill the major first so the blob doesn't respawn. So let's get ready to kill the major and start flicking the blob. Then we can attack the major, and on the next attack we start flicking. So we're giving ourselves a window, even if we take one bit of damage it's okay. Again, if you're confident, you can instantly start flicking. This is the one key skill you have to have to do Inferno. As long as you can one take alternate like this, Inferno is easy. So if you need to practice, you gotta practice. Go to a wave with a blob in it. Okay, let's go towards this guy. Didn't get the last flick because I wasn't paying attention. After he dies, we stay in close, and we could try Center Blood Barrage with Elyon. Really nice. Good. Took a bit of damage, no problem. Back to the pillar, one barrage. And let's just stand still, have a think. Let's isolate the Major. And now let's pray range and deal with the bat. We're going to try and flick the blob a little bit. But we were praying Major as we come across, so of course we can switch to range. Flick the blob one more time, then go around the pillar. Keeping it nice and simple. Bit of damage, no problem. Let's use more Super Restore. And there's a Nibbler on our pillar again, but we don't really care. Just a minor bit of flicking with the Major. Tebow cleans him up just fine. At this stage, we can finish with Blowpipe. Back on this guy. Now, it, it would be a bit better for me to kill him from this side. Because now he's going to be safe spotted. So if I come all the way back, I can do two Phantoms, 201, 94 HP, and as you can see they're all dead, but I still get 99, so showing the Phantom works. Let's finish up on this guy. I should really be blowpiping, so let's go blowpipe. Mage is just not very good. Mage pray start. One barrage. Let's go behind the pillar. Same again. Just isolate one big NPC and start flicking the blob. Took a bit of damage, not a problem. Let's keep flicking the blob. Just getting ready to attack the Major. There's the attack, now we can go. Let's kill this blob. And uh, we can always use a bit of Blood Barrage here. Switch back into our proper gear and finish up with Blood Pipe. If in doubt, heal off the bats. And Blood Pipe to finish as always. Good. Our pillars are looking really good. North Pillar is untouched because it's easy to protect. One barrage, and let's go behind the pillar. Don't flick the blob, don't do anything, just go behind pillar. If I take a step back, I should be able to get this guy. Remember, I can't do it from here. So I got a bit of a heal, let's go again. Right, now what we're going to do is a little trick. If I attack from here, I get pulled out. And the blobs will see me and attack me. If I attack from here, it's the same deal. But if I come up here, the major gets dragged. And you can go there for two ticks and drag him two tiles which means I can attack him from here 
or here. So this is how we pull mages in that are over here. We just go over here. And going to this tile is something we're going to do pretty commonly. It's both a good safe spot tile because it traps anything from that side, and it pulls whatever NPC is over here closer. It does work for any NPC. Of course, if it's a bat or a melee, it's going to come towards you, but for a ranger, a blob, or a major, it works. Works with both of it as well. Just a very useful little thing. And now we only have to deal with the major instead of the blobs. Okay. Onto the blobs. More restore sips. Doesn't matter which one we kill here. But we're going to flick whichever one we didn't kill. So we're flicking the back blob now. One barrage into our tank here. Gonna clean these guys up with blowpipe. I'm still flicking the back NPC. If I take a bit of damage from it, it doesn't really matter. Sometimes they take a while to clear up. Now let's go back and do them properly. Just building good habits. One barrage, pray in range. Switch to our proper gear. And pray major at the last one. PB55 gonna hop in. Good man. Good luck, bro. One barrage and let's stand still. This melee will become stuck. It doesn't look like it's going to, but it is going to. Let's send another barrage, and if in doubt I can pray melee while I'm here. As you can see, it's nice and stuck. Now let's kill the major. So now that we have majors and melees, we're gonna start thinking about how to safe spot melees in the event the major doesn't die. So in this case, what we're gonna do is we're gonna set up a safe spot by standing here. And you can stand anywhere over here and it works. And the idea is we're gonna take a step diagonally northeast, like this. And now we're in a position where if it digs on you, it's behind the pillar. And now we have control of it. Now, if the major refuses to die, you're gonna have to go and take a hit from the melee. So try and time it like I did with the ranger. But for this, you can just take a step in, take a hit and come out. So it's really, really nice and really, really easy to both control it and set it up. We're gonna do this for a lot of waves. A lot, a lot of waves. I think Zuck Sim is worth grinding out or is it just gimmicky? I don't really think it's very useful. I think it's so easy to get to Zuck nowadays. You don't really have to bother with Sims and stuff. It's never going to feel very good. Okay. I took some damage because I'm talking like a nugget. Let's put the Ellie on and let's blood barrage this wave. If in doubt, heal. Brew. Let's hide. And now I can pray range for the bat. I'm going to wait for it to attack me because then I know it's in range. If I go too early, I get dragged out to the major and I'm dead. Now, major is safe spotted. This is fine. Let's come out and attack it. I can always re safe spot it like this. Now what I'm going to do is use another little trick to say swap melees, and we're going to learn all these tricks over the next few waves. This trick is using the NPC as a pillar. So imagine I stand here, or here, and now the NPC is a pillar. So I've done exactly the same thing. We just take a step one tile past its west and then come in, and now we have control of the melee in exactly the same way. There's actually a lot of tiles you can do this on when it comes to trapping melees, but imagine every NPC is a pillar and you have a lot of solutions for blocking them. We want to take a melee hit here to keep control. So we can just time it and come in. Or if, if you're really not sure, just pray mage and go take a hit with Elyon. Not a big deal. Hello, Frick. Good morning, mate. Let's finish up on this bat. So we're a bit low HP. Let's blood barrage again. One blood barrage. Killed it as well. Now let's hide from the major in the melee. And go kill these bats. Again, waiting for this guy to attack us before we attack him. It pays to just be very patient in the Inferno, especially on first cape. Okay, now we can attack the Major, and at some point we want to take a hit from the melee to make sure he stays still. Otherwise I'm going to waste time dealing with him while he digs. So, any time around now, after the Major attacks, I'm going to get ready. And that's all it is. Every 10 seconds or so, got to do that. And it's good practice. Gives you, again, more control, more comfort in the Inferno. The more you control, the less pressure you're going to feel. Just this action, even if it's low HP, is worth doing. Okay, next wave. We're getting good HP, so I'm going to send an Ice Barrage now. Okay, this melee is going to get to me. So what I'm going to do is come around this side of the pillar. 
And I can either kill the blob here or I can kill the melee here. Killing the melee is probably a bit better, so let's put on Rigor. And I'm just gonna camp Mage Brain. And this blob is not gonna kill me before the melee dies. It's just not. If I really have to, I can always use my blowpipe specs. Or I can use potion and brew everything I need to. But the blob simply does not do enough damage to you for it to kill you. If the melee if the melee respawns, it's gonna get stuck. Let's ignore that nibbler over there and kill the major. But this side of the pillar is very good. It blocks melees on this side and this side. We can just stand still. It can't get to us. Let's finish up with Rigor to try and kill it faster. We don't want this melee to dig, otherwise we're going to have to start taking more hits again. And now that it's dead, Mage Prey to make sure. Finish up here. Switch into our proper barrage gear. Send a barrage and now flick the blob. Okay, now let's deal with the blob. I can kill him from this side, as I've shown a couple of times now. You take a step in. Gonna blah, blah barrage here. But of course the melee gets to you this time round, which is not so ideal. Now into our proper gear. Maybe some rigor to clean up because I'm taking a bit of damage. Alright, no problem. If I'm afraid here, just brew. Some restore usage. Let's blood barrage the first wave. Now let's run behind the pillar. I would like to get rid of this bat, so let's flick the blob. Blood pipe spec the bat for some HP. And keep flicking the blob. Let's go isolate the blob now. I went a bit early, so I had to flick the next blob here. And now let's just try and kill the major. Now if I take a step up here, if the melee digs, I can come back to this tile. Let's put on Rigor to try kill it quicker. If the melee digs, I can come and stand back here or here. So I'll showcase it. Oh, actually, it's going to come around the pillar. Oh, no, we're fine. So I can come over here. And you have to try and path here very specifically, or here. And now we have a, a trapped melee on this side. So from over here, these two tiles, you come back to these two tiles. Now I want to protect the pillar, but it looks like it's going down, which is not a problem. We really do not care about the pillars in this run. The only pillar that matters is the north pillar, which is still perfectly healthy and very easy to protect. Let's take a step in. Blood Barrage, one time. Thank you. Bit unlucky. If you want to like send a Blood Barrage on this guy, sure. So we're trying not to heal too much, but obviously we're getting fairly low, so let's do another Barrage. Go behind the pillar. If in doubt, pray Mage, and kill this bat. Now we can pray Range, it's clearly stuck behind. Now it dies, now we have to pray Mage because it's coming across. And what I'm doing is I'm standing on this corner so this blob can't come across. If I took a step in for whatever reason, it could then come and see me. But I don't want to release the blob, and now the melee is going to dig. So I want to kill this guy ASAP, which means Rigor on. If the melee digs, I have to come up with a plan, and I don't have one right now, so I'll probably just brew and DPS it. Okay, brew and DPS it is. I'll try and flick it if it's flickable. It is. You can see they're on distinct cycles. If I take a step anywhere, I release the blob. And I don't really want to. If in doubt, I have a blowpipe spec I can use like this. I can put rigor on, and it dies really quickly. Now my south pillar's gone. But again, I don't care about the south pillar. It doesn't matter. Okay, let's deal with this blob. Take a step out to release it. I'm going to come to the bat safe spot and try and kill the bat, actually, because it's kind of in a bit of a weird place. These guys will still stay roughly clumped. Go for these guys. One barrage. Great. Now, I'm being a bit low HP for these, but it should be uh, all right. Let's do one blood barrage and hide behind here. Let's pray against the blob and send one from there. Oh, okay. Mistake there. Let's pray melee. And uh, blow pipe spec here. I'm just going to pray melee and brew if needed. Now let's try start flicking the blob. Now I have to brew. Take our time. Just brew. Make sure you're flicking. That was a very bad set of actions. Going back there meant the major can see me. I should have been a bit more patient. So after this next attack, we're going to come round... Oh, I'm just not flicking correctly. Okay. One more attack, then we go around and try and pray flick. Rigor on. We want the defense. If the melee, if the melee digs, that's okay. We just go around North Pillar. We know where we can go. And if we have to brew, we have to brew. Let's 
that's pretty mage. Come back over here. So we learned that in the last few waves we can now utilize this idea to trap them early. We have to flick this blob now. And since we're here, we may as well kill the blob and get some HP back. Because it's, it's beginning to get a bit scary. So gear on, even augury on, one barrage, back into our proper gear. And we get a little bit of HP for our efforts, which is fine. Take your time, and get the flick ready. Wait for the blob to attack. Now go behind the pillar and stop alternating. Let's kill it from this side, use more restore. And we're gonna phantom him. All the way back. Drop a gear on. Negatives off. Double barrage on this guy. Starting from about 40 HP. We get to 67, so not too bad. Once we get to waves with Major Ranger, we're going to be a lot more careful. So let's do one barrage. And obviously it didn't hit, but it looks like we can stand still. So let's just keep barraging and get some more HP. This last one here, it's probably better to use Blowpipe, but whatever. Now I can't hit him, he's too far away. Wait for the attack, go around the pillar. And just attack this melee. You don't have to kill him, you can just uh, get him low. So when he's getting fairly low, wait for the attack, come around the pillar. And we're not going to stand here, we're going to come into the middle. And if you want to be a big chad, you can get control of these melees, I don't really recommend it. Oh, he's dug anyway. So when he digs like this, you can come right over here. Let me just alternate these pillar sides. This side is very safe from melees. If this guy digs, i got to think of a solution, which might just be to run behind North Pillar and isolate the major. Alternatively, I can just use Trigger and probably kill the Major before anything happens. Great. Now let's get control of the melees. Maybe I can get control of this one if I'm lucky. I can. I'm just praying melee is completely fine here. And at this stage, because we're going into wave 50, we want to have a little think about being full HP the entire time. So let's check we have Quick Prayers. Let's go to our start tile for 50, which is over here. Let's use more Restore and get really healthy. And let's just be 99 every single time we start a wave. For these waves, we're going to start with Elyon all the time. And we're also going to start with our tank top on. We're not going to use Ancient... Uh, we're not going to use Ancestral anymore. So, no need to use Augury unless you have a lot of prayer and you're really low HP. One Barrage. And let's just stand behind North Pillar and pray range. Wait for this to pull in so it doesn't hit us. Now we can go back, put our tank, or put our barrage gear on, and maybe go for another one. Maybe clean up this guy as well. No rush. Wait for the attack, go around the pillar. Tebow on. Good. So far we've used four restores to get here. So we are about, let's say, 70% of the way through and we've used four restores. So again, we have like five excess restores. Which is plenty. In these waves, I won't be flicking my Mage Prey, really, there's no need. Maybe against a Ranger, it's okay. And if you're ever late in these, or if you're ever low in one of these waves, you can use a Ranger to heal back up. Tank gear on, no Ancestral top, one Barrage and then have a think. Okay, stand still, and go behind the pillar properly. If your south pillar is alive, anything that spawns over here can see you. But in this case, no. Now let's go to the middle of the safe spot and clean up here. Take a step up to make sure I'm in range. If in doubt, pray mage while I do this, in case I get dragged out. And those guys are now dead. This is the most classic stack you'll get. What you do is you start in the middle with run on, and you click the back NPC. To test it, you can do something like this. And click back. And you see that the back one is the one that attacks you, and it attacks you first, which means they're off-ticked. So we can attack the back one, and then pray mage, like this. And this works fine. But what we want to do is kill the major first. So let's start with the ranger, flick once, and then on the major, and then alternate. Or just do like one, three, three, three. Or alternate. If there's a blob in the stack, you have to alternate. There's lots of flicking methods. They all work. 
Take a step behind the pillar, drag it in a little bit closer. In these waves, it pays to just take a bit more time. Don't rush things. If you're if in doubt of stacks, test them. There's not many of these waves, so you gotta do them right. And our north pillar is still really happy, so don't be too afraid of the nibblers. Start tile, gear on, bomb barrage, and just stand still. Click the ground if in doubt. Okay, there's a bat here. Let's play range for it. Kill it. If your south pillar's alive, again, you want to step into the pillar. Now let's go after this guy. Oh, I've actually got the bat by accident. I'm still just praying mage in case I get dragged out. Let's go back here. Finish up this guy. North pillar's completely fine, and we have an identical stack to last time. Let's do exactly the same thing. Keep alternating till you're sure it's dead. Press off, go behind the pillar. For stacks like that, the lower HP you are, the more you're going to want to use Rigor. Again, the defense and the time it takes to kill stuff is like greatly improved, so if in doubt, use it. Let's use loads of supplies here. Supplies are no problem, just sip as needed. Behind the pillar. Thank you, Ron. Let's isolate the Major. And we are going to have to flick some stuff in. You could always kill the Ranger. Oh, I'm praying wrongly. Okay. Let's just kill the Ranger. Rigor on. Blowpipe spec twice. And alternate these guys. The DPS solution isn't a good solution. But it's a very easy one to execute. We keep flicking the blob. Now we're in control. And then we can go around the pillar as we please with Mage. So the idea there is, I don't want to kill the ranger, I want to kill the major. So if I'm comfy, I can go just flick the two NPCs here. But if I'm taking a hit or I'm doing something silly, I want to just go to a DPS solution. It's much nicer and a lot faster. The ranger might now respawn, which is the detriment of doing it, but it's nice and easy, and I can just flick the blob on the ranger. If I'm 99 HP, I'd be much more comfortable flicking these two guys over here. As it stands, yeah, it gets respawn, but that's not a problem. Let's finish with low pipe in case he survives. Okay. So now we've used all these examples a few times. I can now just barrage these stacks uh, as normal, or deal with them as normal. And now we've taken some damage. Let's get our proper gear on and uh, blood blood barrage the fool. Can we get as much out of him as I can? I can take a step back, and if I manual cast, I can also do the Phantom on him, if I'm far enough away. But this should kill him. But I'm 75 HP and I get to 78, so I get a bit more. Tank gear on, and let's use Blood Barrage with Augury. Now let's corner trap the Ranger. So if you see stuff coming from that side, you can easily corner trap, but it's just a Ranger and a Bat, so I don't really care. Let's go out and get these Nibblers before they do more damage to the pillar. And again. So I'm just looking what's available on this side of the pillar. Looks like it's all okay. Now if I want to, I can come over here and flick both of them. Or I can just kill the ranger. I'll show you how we flick these guys. So, get restore ready. And we just time the attack. Plenty of ways of flicking these. Two ticking is really nice. If you're not confident, kill the ranger. And just keep clicking. We're taking a step back so the blob doesn't see us when it drags around. Now we kill the ranger. Let's 
I have to go for the blob. I guess I can kill the bat here if I want to. Flick the blob. I'm a pretty high HP, but we'll still we'll still try and get to 99. There's no reason not to. Push to our proper gear. And mage prey here. So we don't take extra damage. Yeah. Tank gear on. No top. One barrage. Let's go behind the pillar and just hide. Everything's going to come towards us. And we can pray range for the bats and let them drag in. Once they're close enough, we can attack. Not before. And as we can see here, if you look at the tiles up here, this ranger is stuck. So what I can do is I can come out and just test the ranger doesn't see me. It doesn't. That's fine. Now we can kill the major. So again, if in doubt, test everything. A lot of waves are just really simple as long as you take your time to let things settle. Okay. Plenty, plenty prone. Finish with a blowpipe, maybe. Let's take a step back and pray range in case the guy sees me. And now I can deal with the blob alternating. Oh, it can't see me. Let's just deal with the blob then. Praying range here, of course, because of both the uh, both these guys. Oh, he's frozen. So I can uh, kill the bat, maybe? Ooh. Doesn't really matter on the mat here. Let's just kill this guy. Ranger can't see me. He's stuck on it. And be brave to kill the ranger. It's the last NPC. No respawns. A bit more restore used. And we have 10 restores left. We've used 5 so far. We have double the amount we've already used, and it's wave 55. One barrage, and let's flick these blobs. This guy's trapped. And let's just think about flicking the blobs. Maybe take a step back and kill this. Just flicking the blobs. Now what I can do is I can alternate these guys and the Major. The Majors in this position that are stuck, I can come and step back on these tiles, and it will see me. So let's put Rigor on. <clears throat> and come back in. And just try and alternate. I could come further across here because the Ranger's stuck as well. And if you're in doubt, just let just sit with Mage Prey, you won't take too much damage. And then alternate when you can. So even two blobs like that, not a big deal. We'll heal up just fine. If in doubt, true. Keep alternating. Until they attack you. Now we can chill. Great range. Let's come across and use one blowpipe spec on the ranger and alternate. And alternating is our solution to everything. Rigor on optional now. Keep alternating. There's the attack. Now I'm going to kill him from this side. To make sure the other one can't see me. And Blood Barrage, of course, because we're getting low. Tank gear on. And then this side over here for this guy. Take a step back to get the Phantom. Take our gear off. We want a good one. 52 HP start. Seventy-six there. I'd like more HP, so we can barrage this. Not great to do so, but it's okay. Death's coffer covers top chest recovery. It should do, yeah. Let's do a blood barrage here because we're getting kind of low, and uh, I think we're fine now. We just chill. If we attack this guy, we'll get dragged around, which is fine. Let's go back on the major, and now we need a plan for when the melee digs. So if I'm, on, if I'm on this side, I can come and stand over here, praying range. That's fine. Learn a chin capes. I'll probably do a sub-65 with chin, yeah. I'll do it next. A bit of rigor flicking, that's all. Melee digs. Wait for the attack. Come around. Now let's kill the melee. Okay. 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 
Keep on, wait for the attack. Come around. We're not quite 99 HP, so let's get our gear on and just do a quick barrage. There's 99, good. Always starting 99. Okay, mage break. One barrage. And just stand still. What's happening? Nothing. Great. I would like this melee to come and sit behind, and I gotta deal with him, so let's prep the melee. We're taking a step out to Bat Say Spot, and we can step in here, which is fine. Let's see if the Ranger attacks us. No, so it's okay. And again, you can test these things if you're not sure. Now we can take a step in, kill the Major, and when he dies, the Ranger is free, so let's pray range after the Major dies. Now we pray range. And now we still have the safe spot of melee. More restore. I can always take a step in here if I want to keep control, but he's nearly dead, so I'm not worried. Now let's go to bat safe spot, all the while just attacking blow by walking. So it's still the same maneuver, just like practicing using our attack speed properly. Okay. One barrage and solve the wave. Let's stand still and pray range. Okay, let's kill this melee. If I can flick it, great. If not, no worries. But I've just got rigor on, I've got blowpipe specs at the ready, and it's dead. Simple as. DPS solution wins again. If I need to brew, I need to brew. If I can pipe spec, great. So we've just removed an NPC from the equation. Now we can come around this side and not even deal with this flick. Wait for the attack and go. So don't ever try and freeze melees, it's just a waste of time. Just click them with blowpipe, get an extra attack or two off. The amount of people that fumble 10 freezes and don't get it, it's very silly. Now we can take a step closer and kill this melee because it's respawned very close to us. And if it dies again, it can't be respawned a third time, so... Oh, twice. Back on the major. What wave? I don't know. It doesn't matter what wave it is. That's a spot, and let's barrage the 99. This is just always a good thing to do. Might take a second, but no worries. There's 99. Very range here in case it hits me, and we're fine. Right, one barrage. Solve the wave. Let's isolate the major by going over here and praying range. Let's put rigor on and just clean up these guys. Maybe blowpipe spec one of them. Maybe blowpipe spec two of them. And let's kill the ranger, because it's a bit of an awkward one. Let's alternate. So we weren't flicking the blob at all there, and now we can just kill the ranger. I need to brew, I need to brew. The melee is going to dig at some point. And what I'm going to do is set up a melee trap. Oh, it's too late. Let's just kill the melee. I'm still trying to flick the blob, and now I've got to flick the melee. Let's just kill it. Just sit there. Just kill it. Pray melee. Now let's try and get the blob under control. Wait for the next attack. Now we go around. So the entire process, yes, we're tanking the blob, but the blob doesn't deal damage to us. Not very much anyway. So we went for the DPS solution, which was the easy solution. It's not the best solution, but it's the easiest. The other solution was to come around here and flick the ranger and the mage, uh, the ranger and the mage. 
melee's back, what I can do is I can come round. Oh, now the mage is back. Now I want to actually kill it, let's put Rigor on. I'm ready to brew if the melee digs. Rigor on, Rigor on, Rigor on. We want this guy to die. What I can do is stand here when the melee digs and it will help me. Okay, he's dead, good. Now we have no problems. Let's wait for the melee to dig. VOD will be available. Yes, this will be available as a VOD and I'll put it on YouTube as well. There are some other VODs on YouTube from previous Fridays if you're interested. So don't click this too early, just wait for it to wiggle. Now we can go. Okay, let's deal with the blob first. Go all the way back. One barrage and then another in quick succession. And we'll get all the HP back that we lost from the waves. Come up into it. Finish him off. Doesn't matter if we take damage from this guy. And let's heal off the ranger. Try and get to full. Again, standing far back. Instantly casting. One more. Okay. Tank gear on. Sip some Bristol. One barrage. And let's go behind the pillar. Wait for this to stack up. I'll pray melee for this guy. And there are three nibbles on the pillar, so let's go to nibbler safe spot. We waited for stuff to stack before doing this, and now we can barrage it. And they're all dead, good. It's a bit of a scary wave with a complete splash on the nibblers, but it happens. Now we've killed the melee, we can assess what to do. If in doubt, wiggle on the pillar, see what's up. Now we can kill the major, and flick the blow. Um, I think Ring of the Gods, personally. But Suffering should be fine too, make no mistake. Both of them are fine. Arguably the worse at flicking you are, the more you should take Suffering. But, you know. Okay. When the Major dies, we go around the pillar. Try and catch the Blob Flicks or Blob Hits. All is well. Now we can attack the Ranger, because everything is stuck on that side. If the melee digs, no problem. Melee digs, we just come back in. So across the entirety of this run and all the other attempts you might have been doing, you will gain all this knowledge if you try and put it into practice. And the more times you're like aware of how a melee works and how it digs, you can manipulate it better, you can control it better, and that'll never be a problem. Eldritch Lightbearer is no point to it. Look at this run, I have 9 restores remaining on wave 61. I've been barely flicking, if anything I've been like trying not to flick. That's a spot to kill the bat. So in other words, if I had a light if I had a light bearer, I would run out of prey quicker, and an Eldritch would mean that I don't get blowbite specs, which means I would be dead. So Eldritch is a big noob trap. Light bearer, big noob trap. Please don't use them. Just use what I'm using now. 99 HP, let's send a barrage. Oh, might be one more. And clean up with blowpipe again. Very mage for this guy. Okay. More restore. One barrage. And let's just chill here for a second and kill this bat with rigor on. I've, I've gone here to pull the major closer. And after the bat dies, I'll go on to the major and start alternating. It's a bit tricky if the melee digs in. Let's just see how, how our DPS is. I probably have to kill the melee and brew. I'm gonna kill the melee and brew is what I've decided. But I'm gonna try and kill the major first. Let's flick the blob one more time and then go on the melee. Blowpipe specs at the ready. Let's use them. I missed both. There is a blob flick which goes like this. It's the same as one ticking. And this will catch 75% of damage from the blob. So that's always a useful thing if you remember how to do it. It's literally just start with melee, go across and back. Waiting for the blob attack, and then we come across. But again, if I take damage from the blob, I just double brew, triple brew, whatever it is. Use supplies. Let's go for this blob and blob barrage heal.
One more to try and heal a bit more. Three million now. That's a spot and blood barrage. Let's use more restore. Now this is a kind of wave. We're into the 60s now. This is 62, which is one of the harder waves. So what we want to do on these waves is start considering using brews to pre-brew for the wave to get to like 115 and also use Bastion. So let's use a dose of Bastion here and we can start using Augury to be a bit more comfortable. Throw one barrage, sit behind the pillar, have a think what's going on. Okay, let's come back and pray range because it looks like this guy's going to come around. Swap hit me, let's go back onto the pillar. Just wanted to get rid of that guy now. Range is on me and there's a melee. Okay, so I don't really want to deal with the melee and the ranger and the major. Let's just kill one of these guys. Let's just get rid of him. Alright. Now I'm going to be a bit patient with how I do this. I could do things like hit the major and then flick the blob. This is like flinching with blob. This is fine too. You're just biding some time waiting for the melee. The bigger the spawn is, the, late, the later the wave you get to, the more NPCs there are, which means the more they block each other. And the easier it is to go and click something or just get rid of an NPC that's close to you. Alright, major and blobs, no problem. We know how to do this. Blob does one more flick, and let me stop flicking properly. Take Rigor off for now to conserve more prone. And just attack normally. If we attack the back one here, it's going to hit the other blob as well, which is quite nice. Clean up with Blowpipe, pray mage for this guy. And I think the blob is frozen, so he might not come round, which is okay. Let's take a step forward and uh, just attack the melee instead. I can always heal off the blob big time if he comes round. Okay, let's go kill this blob. Oh, he dug at the end. And I'm going to stand on this side over here. Just so they clump a bit better. I took a hit at the end there. Let's just heal up on him. Try and get an extra bit of healing. More restore sips. And let's keep Augury on and Blood Barrage this wave. Just trying to get to full before we start it properly. Okay, looks like the ranger might come round. Let's pray range just in case. And let's choose to corner trap something. Okay, let's corner trap the melee. And we're just using all the tools in our arsenal now to get through this. He's not corner trapped because he slided on the major, which is why I prayed melee just in case. Let's come back round, and now we should be fine. So we have eight restores going into these last few waves. Again, plenty, plenty, plenty. Now this is a bit of a big stack, but the major, like, the melee behind it doesn't really play part in this. So if we click the ranger and come out, it's still the same stack as normal. The melee just is an added NPC that doesn't make a difference. Let him wiggle out of you and then attack him. Don't attack him priorly. Okay, same as before. Praying range, last NPC alive, let's go click it, don't be afraid. Next wave we're gonna look at we're gonna look at isolating the major. Since it's a major and two rangers. You can also brew on this wave if you're not sure to get a bit more out of it. But we do want to keep our range boost. Put our tank gear on with augury. And again, if you got excess prayer, just start with augury. One barrage. And let's isolate the major. There's only one major, so it's very easy to isolate it. And let's just kill this ranger. This guy coming is obviously ranger as well. If you want to, you can flick these two guys. I'm just going to go for the easy option and kill it. Wait for the attack and come round. More, more prayer usage, more everything. And I'm going to readjust my supplies before I go into Jad and Zuck, just to make sure they're all like in a really nice position. There's the respawn, but who cares. Two rangers and 90 HP. Let's use our healing and get to 99. There it is. And now this is double major wave, so there's no reason to be afraid. Let's come up and stand, well, nicely in the center, roughly. And let's go. 
at this point onwards, with eight restores, I can easily camp rigor until the end of my run, so I'm probably not going to turn my prayers off much. I'm just trying to drag them a bit closer. Remember, these guys can respawn each other, so... Just taking time to uh, bring them a bit closer, so my travel time and like my distance between them, I can just attack them a lot easier. Try and kill this guy first. Go for this guy next, hopefully there's no respawn, and we're fine. Nibbler's on the pillar, we can uh, just barrage or whatever you want, I mean it's just Nibbler's on a pillar. They'll die anyway in a second, and don't stand on the pillar when it goes down of course, and then we're on to Jad. So for Jad, just pray melee at the start, rigor on permanently, and we want to start one tile away from its northwest, so like if this is facing north, you want to be one tile away from its like northwest side. And just camp rigor 100% of the time and sip liberally. We can use Tebow to tag minions, we can use Barrage. In this case, looks like I can Barrage that stack. And these guys are pre-trapped, so let's not do anything to them. Let's attack this guy. The Blowpipe, make sure we're flicking Jad. And if you want to get some melee flicks off, you can do. One Jad is pretty easy to do this with. I mean, just stand still, nothing else to be done. For triples, we can Brew. And we can use a dose of Restore, and another dose of Bastion. Our camera angle needs to see behind Jeff from this side, this is why we use this camera angle. Nice and simple. Okay, single Jad is dead. Let's use two dose brew and stand in the middle of the room. Melee prey on, rigor on, super restore dose. Let's find our correct tile and use another dose of Bastion as we start this. And now we've got this nice big camera angle, we can see all three Jads. And more importantly, we can see behind this guy as well. If we take a hit, we just keep going. Okay, these healers are all together. Let's take our time. Blood barrage all of them. And if as long as we stand still, there's only going to be one healer on us. If you have multiple healers on you, take a step north, or multiple steps north. And that's all there is to it. So we can go like this to clump them and make it a bit easier to only one of them, uh, let only one of them hit me. Now let's go back to our start tile, which is here. More restore. Again, camping rigor permanently for the defense and the damage. Let's Tebow tag these guys. Tebow works completely fine. No rush on these guys. Four bruises, like plenty, plenty, plenty. And if you want to flick a couple of melee hits, you can do. If not, just camp Mage Prey, camp Range Prey, whatever it is. But like in this downtime, you can do a couple of melee flicks. Sure, we finish him. Unlucky. Okay. Next chat is over here. More restore used. And this should look pretty similar to the first chat as well. Yeah, you, you can go to the two tick or one three, whatever it is, anytime. For this guy again, we can come into melee range if you want to. Gotta remember to break melee. And if you want to heal, this is a good time before Zuck. Let's get the healers. Let's bring Blowpipe out, they're all quite close. And let's tag this guy and then come in and break melee. And what we can do, we can attack Jad during this. So we can break melee, run through him. Now oh, we've let a healer by. Let's just attack Jad. He's pretty low anyway, and we have plenty of supplies. Breaking short of prey melee. You can get a quick blood barrage off. You can go for it. Not a problem. So we are going to probably pipe spec sets, so I'm not too worried about my uh, my HP. And we have four brews. So Rigor is on before we start Zuck. You can log out if you're a bit nervous, whatever. Click Zuck and follow shield. 
try and get these hits in. He doesn't attack until you reach the edge. More restore. And we've entered Zuck with seven restores left, which is ridiculous. You only need like two or three. Whenever Zuck attacks, you can move to the next safe spot. These tiles are the danger ones. Likewise, on this side, those three are the danger ones. So, next safe spot, keep attacking. Next safe spot, keep attacking. And just stand whenever you want to. Let's get our supplies to a nice place. And the goal is to get him below 600 HP. There's a few ways to deal with sets. In this case, we can just kill the major. Let's pray mage. And we're going to use lots of brew, and we're going to just milk the ranger as soon as we get close to it. But for now, we just pray mage the entire time. This is the nice easy way if you have supplies and you're a maxed main. So blow pipe on, get the specs ready. I'm 99, so I'm going to reserve a spec in case I get hit. I'm just blow pipe walking with the shield. I took 24. Okay, no problem. Back on Zerk, let's brew. There's 107, that'll do. And let's use more uh, Bastion. Wait till we get to the end, and on Zerk. We'll leave the Major alive because it's going to waste time to kill it. we got to get him below 600 ASAP. Waiting for the attack. Next safe spot. Wait for the attack. And keep going. With first capes, it's important to try and lose as few ticks as possible. There's the attack, we can just go. By standing on this tile and attacking, I'm just dragging myself in. You can just manually path. Wait for the attack and go. More restore. Getting close to 600, which is good. One more attack, wait for the shield to start bouncing back. Not a particularly fast run, but that's okay. There's the last hit, hopefully. 596, so we needed 599, and that's fine. Wait for the attack. Now we can go kill this guy. Making sure to follow the shield very carefully. Back on Zuck. Now we got to do Jad. With Tebow, we, we can reach Jad from either side. We've got to be a bit careful with the uh, Blood Barrage when we go for healers. There's the attack, next safe spot. Four eighty exactly, one more HP to proc Jad. There's Jad. Click the ground and on Jad. Now we turn the camera a bit, and we just follow the shield, making sure that a Zuck attack comes through before we move. More restore. Keep your prayer book open. And make sure you're high prayer when you start Jad, it helps a lot. And if in doubt, right click him to not get dragged out or whatever. Now we're getting a bit closer, we can blood barrage there. Tebow this going. Staying with the shield. There's the Zuck attack, we can now move. Let's use another dose of Stam. There's the attack, we can now move. Is the attack. And he's dead. Now let's use a dose of brew to get 112 or 115. Dose of restore and a dose of bastion. We have a full bastion left, which is lovely. Now we're going to do healers, which is 240. So we've got to watch his HP. Another dose of stam, just like super full. Prayers off. We're not going to be using redemption. It's not good unless you have no brew remaining. Then you can use redemption. For this, we're just going to stay high HP. If we hit like 60, we're going to brew. And on Zuck. With a Tebow, as long as you're not losing too many ticks, it's pretty unlikely you get another set. If you do, just same as before. There's 344, so we're being a bit careful with the HP. One more attack and then we go. This is now 300 HP, so let's take Rigor off. And I don't think I can proc them. I'll just try and... Uh, I don't think I can hit a 60, maybe if I'm really unlucky. Okay, 253. Don't do that if you're a first caper. We're going to let it touch the edge, and then we're going to attack him. I don't know why I'm putting prayer on. You can do it as it reaches the edge, so you can go a, bit, a little bit earlier, but not much earlier. And now it's important to really follow the shield. The second we get him below 240, we have to be really careful. So let's wait for the shield to hit the edge. And on Zuck, you get two or three hits in. There's a hit, blowpipe on, follow the shield. 
right click these guys if possible move on to the next one following the leading edge blow pipe walking the entire way you can always attack right click attack right click as well this is fine too and when we get here we want to tuck into the edge with the shield for one attack two attack and then back out one attack two attack back out get the blow pipe spec ready follow the shield just moving with it very carefully right click move right click move into the corner for a few attacks let's get the blow pipe spec out another dose of brew follow this don't get too greedy and dead so being able to blow pipe walk effectively is really big for these healers okay let's brew to full 114 restore get to full restore again preserve on because i got so much prayer and drink a bastion dose and now we've got to follow the shield very carefully let's use our last dose of stam if a set spawns, I just tag the Major or tag the Ranger and kill the other one, maybe. Or just kill one of them, even. Not gonna greed that hit there. And this is fine, we can sit here just okay. Not greeting hits too much, following the shield. If you run when you attack, it gets you into a nice position. So we're not doing this dragging shit anymore, we're not running ahead. To, we can't just run to the next safe spot. The shield is the safe spot. You have to be with the shield. There's the set. I'm going to tag the Major. And then I'm going to hit Zuck. Because it's so low, it's 3 HP. Just pray Mage. The Ranger is going to take like a minute to kill that. And we're fine. Lovely. So a bit under an hour and a half for first cape. Doing super slow stuff and explaining things, so not a bad run. Uh, I think there's only one wave where I ran back and a major hit me, but that was just silly. So very huge. Uh, we're gonna go and do a think a, a probably a chin sub 65, which I haven't done yet. Uh, it'll be off task again, but yeah. I think the setup for this is very similar, just with chins. So this is like some one of those things, if you're getting into doing speeds and you're like, well, this isn't probably very good for the GM sub 65. But if you're beginning to get there and you're like getting better at the game and you want to try it, then it'll still work just fine. Let's do, uh, we'll do the similar setup, I think. We're doing sub 65, so let's bring one divine. Oh, fuck me. One divine, two regulars, one stem. I'm going to try and keep this divine for a while. And we'll bring in six brews. Chins are only really worth it. Yeah, like sub 60 going down to 55. But uh, this is definitely a way you could do it. YouTube only has one. YouTube has two right now. Oh, both are sub 65. Um, maybe I'll do both are sub 65 next week. It's not really any different. You just click stuff. Okay, let's go. Cherry says one just click. It's it's not really any different from Tebow, like if I mostly want to help first capers and maybe for the GM task, but like I don't know. I'll do it next week, I guess, for the sub sixty five bofa. Right. So all the, cons all the concepts we've used previously, plus we're going to be using a lot more rigor. This is off task, but you could always just use task, it'll help a lot. And now we're going to focus on faster souls. A bit more blowpipes back into the waves, maybe. Some stuff like that. Uh, all these runs will be on YouTube later, so... If you want to watch the whole thing, it'll be up there. Okay, a bit more aggression on these sub-65s. We're still going to be starting with a... Actually, we're going to be starting with chins, really. So rigor on for a lot of the run. Throw chins for multiple nibblers, throw chins for multiple blobs, stuff like that. And this is with Ellie, so we're going to start fairly aggressive. And just, when you see things like this, just chase them. Get ready for the blob, mini blob. Oh, uh, sorry, the nibbler. And Rig is on the entire time, we're going to be one ticking this run. Get chin on. Keep chinning this, try and get the middle one. Minimum gear stats. Get 99s if you can, otherwise like 95 is fine. 
So we're gonna flick this block. Same way as always. And uh, if you can get this guy while he dies, that's great. Chin on the major. And try and clump them all separately. We're gonna be praying mage for these guys. Finish with blowpipe. And again, start fairly aggressive. Let's run towards the blob, get a chin on this guy. Another one, because it's just not dead. Kill the bat if you fancy. Ideally you leave something while the blob is dying, but we can just kill the bat. Flick whatever you can flick, if you can't then heal up with ice, uh, heal up with blob barrage or mini blobs. So every single hit we're trying to use rigor here, we're just camping our overhead. If you want to heal you can do it like this. I'm gonna keep shitting this though because I'm full HP. You can run back to the start, but don't run too much. On chin. Gonna let them clump together. I'm flicking the blob in exactly the same way as before. Waiting for the attack to hit me, then waiting a tick. Use some restore. A big XP drop means switch. Let's come all the way back. One attack, start flicking the blobs. Let's go meet the blobs, maybe with a Tebow hit. We're just flicking them together. And then while this guy dies, attack the other guy. We're still flicking the big blob. That was a big hit, so let's finish up with Blowpipe. Now let's go on to this guy. This shouldn't be too hard to do if you're going for sub-65. No fast movements or anything like that. Let's go after the nibblers. We're going to run close to them. We're going to try and follow them. And we're just going to trace their movements, that's all it is. More restore. And now it's a single melee, so let's just pray against it. Go for the one shin. On the melee. You can do some nifty stuff if you want. So Rigor just annihilated it, so that's good. You can clump these guys if you know how. If not, no worries. Start fairly central. One attack, back on the melee, and for sub-65 you don't have to be hyper-aggressive, but you have to be confident. So coming out, taking melees, stacking something like this is fine. And we're going to kill the bat afterwards. And we're also going to take a step in afterwards. And just flip. Trolls not necessary? No, of course not. Trolls are necessary for like sub-44. That's about it. Try and kill this nibbler, just get it with blowpipe or another chin. Let's drag everything back. North Pillar's our safe haven. Just non-stop attacking stuff, we always want to be attacking stuff. And then we want to get control of melees as soon as possible and then flick rigor on them. One, two or three bastions is fine. Four if you really want to. Let's do one chin, do one more maybe and then run back. Let's attack this blob, because we want to go to those nibbles over there. So let's get let's get the thing that's furthest away. Take a step in, and then we chin the middle one. Good chin, now we switch our blowpipe. Very melee for the last guys, and now we can use this melee to come across to the other side. And we can kill this guy. If you if you leave the blob alive, and you kill the melee, and then you gotta go back and heal the blob, it's like silly. Okay. Starting fairly central still. One chin. Oh, we can use another chin here to clean up. We can just keep using chins to clean up here. Try not to get dragged too far, because this melee is nice and safe spotted. Now let's go after the melee. Take a couple of steps in, get ready for the blob. And when the blob dies, we stand over here. Good chin. Switch to our blowpipe, just attack these guys. Try and walk back to the start if you can. We can always use stem here, so we use the stem dose. Let's run back on the north pillar. And we're flicking the blob. Let's kill this melee, flicking the blob. We're going to T-wear the blob to transition over once it's dead. Two eighteen means blob is dead. Now let's flick these bats and clump all the things on this pillar. Big shin means going to blowpipe. And now we can deal with the bat. Let's keep using Restore. Starting again, fairly central. Okay, we know how to flick blobs, we just flick the prayers. So let's flick these guys and kill the melee. 
Drag him back on the pillar. This is our safe spot. These guys are together, because we're starting central, they can see us at the same time. Which means they're same tactics, really nice. Tebow on this guy to transition, you can always just pipe it. And I'll Tebow the other blob when this guy dies. Tebow this guy. And we're still flicking him. Big chin means we start running this way and put our blowpipe on. Let's kill this blob and then kill this nibbler while it's dying. Now let's kill the nibbler. Get ready for chin. Great. So these are really, really basic speedrun stuffs. Just making sure we're basically in the right place to deal the most damage. Making sure that we uh, have good control of NPCs. Understanding of waves like this is double melee, so I can stay in the center. You need a little bit of this. I'm gonna path my way over, blow by walking, kill this guy. And maybe burn a blow pipe spec for some more damage. I'm still full HP, I'm 101, so everything is fine here. Let's use more restore. And I can grab another restore now. So we need to monitor our restore a bit, but not that much. We've used one so far. Now it's uh, double nibbler, then ranger, so let's be brave and stand up front. Great. Again, it's just a ranger, stand up front. Get close to these guys, get a chin off. Good chin equals blowpipe. And then, I'll, and then just pick your brows. If you're doing sub-65, you should be able to do this. Good morning, Tasty. Congrats on the big subathon. Very fun. <clears throat> okay, bats and ranger. Let's not be afraid. There's multiple nibbles there, so let's use our chills. And now let's go kill the ranger. There's still one alive. Let's path around and try and get a good angle and then go for it. Sometimes if you don't get a good angle here, you get path like this and then in, which is really not good. Looking at our prayers. Great. Let's go back roughly central. You don't need a start tile for this. You can even be on pillar like this and this is fine. One chin. It's not bad. Let's get our pipe out. The less complex the wave is, the more aggressive you want to be. When it gets complex, we start on pillar. And 50 plus, we still use barrage. Now let's just use rigor. And stick with our one tick alternation. Oh, sorry, our one ticking. Our range level is 103. Let's consider repotting. Great. Let's use re Super Restore. And uh, let's wait for our tick down, then repot. There's a blob coming. Let's run away from everything. And just keep shitting this. And now I don't have to keep. I don't have to really flick the blob. I can just start flicking it here. One hit on the ranger, maybe. Chin over here. Maybe Ellie on if I can get it on. And let's use a blowpipe spec on the ranger. Now we're at the HP, we're starting to take some damage. So what I can do is I can blood barrage my HP back. Because the run is progressing so much faster than the first gate, preferably your own task, you have really good accuracy. So we can start range spray. And we can just get some healing. Let's kill this bat, and then begin alternating. Kill the ranger. The ranger is the nice one to kill, because if you pop the blob, you've got many blobs to deal with. But like this should be completely fine. I'm looking to chin the nibbles on that pillar. Let's go chin, and let's go kill. I can throw a chin as the blob dies. Let's think about it. And mage pray for these guys. Not a big chin, let's do one more chin, then switch. If in doubt, switch. Great. Back on pillar, roughly. Okay. Chin the middle one here again, if I can do. It's actually dead, which is good. Let's use that safe spot and just drag everything back. Now let's go and ig just ignore the block, don't even bother flicking it. Low pipe spec here. You've taken a bit of damage, not a problem. Let's get the chin off. Another one. Now we're taking some serious damage, so we got to have a little bit to think about either brewing or using Blood Barrage. I'm 101 range. Let's brew. Twice. Restore. And uh, Bastion. You can even use uh, Phantoms if you know how to do it. And now we can start with Blood Barrage again. Let's be back on Pillar. If you're starting with Blood Barrage, you can afford to do this. Okay. 
Doing a bit of two ticking. Just catch the blob flicks however you can. And again, we're going to kill the ranger. Looking to chin the nibbler on the pillar. Let's get ready. Making sure that guy can't see us. Let's go chin this. Look our prayers. Come back to the blob. And he will see us from this side, so let's try and flick them both. Come and stand in, flicking the back one. After a big chin, we start moving immediately. And we're still flicking this guy. If you ever need to heal big time, you can also use Blood Barrage here. Just like this. And then back into either your chins or your blowpipe. So we're getting a couple of HP sources from a couple of places, either nibblers or mini blobs. Doesn't really matter which one. Back on pillar. Blood Barrage to start. And then into blowpipe. Looks like the melee is stuck behind the ranger, so let's go meet it. And let's kill it first, so it's not a problem. If your run energy is getting low, just keep using Sam. Great. Still fairly low HP, so let's keep blood barraging. Back on pillar. And kill this melee. Safe spotting the ranger. We can use the melee to come along like this. And throw a chin over here. Let's kill the bat quickly. Click it if you can do it. On the optics of the melee. And let's kill this melee. Can't come round otherwise I'll be in the line of sight. So wait for it to die and then go. Let's use a blowpipe spec. And another dose of restore. So we're building our HP back up again. Okay. Even in these low waves, even though they're not very complex, we're going to use Ice Barrage and Blood Barrage. That's a good kill. Let's go to Bat Safe Spots where our run doesn't drain too much. We're on the Ranger. This bat's coming around, let's kill it. Now let's kill the melee. Just one ticking everything. We can get ready to kill the Ranger. And still one tick. We don't lose ticks on the transition. Okay. Now we're full HP, Ice Barrage. Let's duck behind the pillar for a second. Maybe Tebow the Ranger while things drag in. You can do stuff like this and it's okay. Just having a think. Let's go for the melee. And the damage isn't bad. We just want to not waste time. We want to do something with our time. The biggest time loss is not doing anything. So even if we're Tebowing something, even if it's like a terrible idea, it's better than doing nothing. Let's keep attacking. Go for the range room. And now that it's pulled in, we're not going to be afraid for it. Let's go for the blob. And we're going to come and stand here, or here. With chins on, because we're high HP. Good chin. Switch back in. Great. More restore. Let's use Ice Barrage. And just run behind the pillar. Let's come back a little bit and throw a chin at these guys. To clear up. And let's go on the bat. Let's go on the melee. This blob might come around, so that's fine. But if I want to, I can take a step back. We know this. We can say spot everything. And I can come over here and get ready to come around the pillar. Just one tick this, or two tick it, whatever you fancy. This is one of the most simple and most fun chin setups. You just take a step back here, and then chin the middle one. Pretty easy to do, pretty fun. Good showcase of using chins. Okay. 95 HP, feeling pretty happy, but still Blood Barrage because it's a complex wave. When it collapses and becomes less complex, it's okay. If you're on task you can try and freeze the melee. Um, I don't really recommend it, but it's not as if it's bad on task. If, if you're not sure, just kill it. Let's go to bat safe spot and begin alternating. And then watch the major. Let's kill this blob. Uh, the ranger, sorry. Let's go stand next to it and kill the bat. Get ready for our chins. One more chin. Let's start moving towards the ranger, clean up anything over here, and maybe a blowpipe spec. Not great, that's fine. Start one ticking. 
Now with 78 HP, let's think about barraging. Let's hide. Pray for the blocks. Let's come all the way back. And get the barrage on these guys from the another safe spot. Then come around the pillar, deal with the ranger, click this guy if you have to. All is well. Now because we can attack the melee from here, let's do that. Get rid of it first always. No point letting him do. Now the ranger. Let's come and uh, get ready to attack this blob. And when he dies, we can attack this guy over here a little bit. Let's take a step out now and start flicking. Throw some shins, come back across, looks good. We're still good HP, so we can still chin. Let's come up close. One chin. Maybe switch there, was good enough. Maybe a phantom if you know how to do it. Good. The wave is beginning to collapse, but we're still going to use barrage for one more wave. Good hit. Now let's just keep running with this melee. Keep praying range and keep running with it. And we can come up behind this pillar at some point and isolate the major. Oh, uh, the ranger. So as long as you can blow by run and you're not getting hit, you can just keep running with it. Let's go on the ranger. If you're low on a wave like this, it's fine, because you've got two rangers next wave and then a double nibbler to heal on. And then a major on its own is like no threat. So it's okay to be a little bit lower on these waves, but, you know, don't be too crazy. We're 90 HP, let's go chinning. Try and get the middle one. Maybe a pipe on this to assess what's going on. Another lot of chins. Let's run behind the pillar. We're taking a couple of ticks to do that, but it's better than running towards this guy for two or three ticks as well. So we're using the pillars to drag stuff in. Let's take a step out to get ready to attack. Now we're not losing ticks getting ready. This is sub-65 showcase, yeah. It'll probably be like 55, but that's fine. This is like a rare one because it's with chins. Alright, double nibblers. If you're full HP, you can always chin it. If you're not full HP, you can blood barrage, whatever you fancy. Don't throw too many chins. If you see like that, a big stack, then just throw one more. And now we have... Major. Let's do one attack with chins, and finish with glowpipe. Don't overuse chins. Just right-clicking the other one. And now here's a big tip. When you're dealing with anything with Tebow, in a speedrun, you want to stand next to it, so that your travel time for your arrow isn't longer than it needs to be. If, I, if it's from here, it's instantaneous. If it's from here, it's going to take an extra tick. You see? So we want to stand right next to it. Keep rigor on and just flick rigor. Keep mage free on. Good. Let's go back. We're going to start fairly central for these early waves. And just for the bat, we're just going to kill it. Insta-kill it. If you want to flick range prey for it, that's fine. Just flick a little bit. I want to protect north pillar as well, so let's go after that. And then immediately on the major. Don't throw too many chins. For example, like this. After Tebow shot, I can blow pipe this. I don't have to chin it. I can run back towards the major and get my attack off. If I chin it, I just lose a tick. So the idea here is we don't want to lose too many ticks needlessly. Keeping Rick on. Okay, go to the bat safe spot, same as the north pillar, and finish up here. Run back. More restore. Last chin, let's kill these bats. And now let's not kill that bat, it's too far away, let's just run. Let's go behind the pillar. Go behind the pillar, go behind the pillar. This is fine. Keep flicking Ruger. You can also do uh, quick prayer majors, that's fine. And I want to get to bat safe spot, so let's just like drag him in a little bit. Making sure we come out a little bit. There we go. And now we're in a bat safe spot, we're just like preparing ourselves. My range level is 101, let's sip another dose. Use blowpipe to finish, and then go on the bats. Let's run into it. Good. Now it's a blob. So now we can start using Barrage again. Let's just stand still, have a think. Let's try and chin this to get rid of it. Back on Major. Blowpipe there is good as well. Watch the budget TOA guide where I had a Tebow on. Um, I don't know if Tebow would be considered budget. I probably shouldn't be labelled as a budget. 
A bofo would be budget. Okay, there's a nibbler there. Let's throw one shin and go on the block. And we're going to kill it from this tile here. Trigger should be on. So we have a nice clear line of sight of all three. Lovely. Again, barraging this. One barrage. And let's go behind North Pillar immediately. Rigor on attack the Major. Just flicking Rigor. Blow back to finish, rigor on the entire time. Step into the bat safe spot and flick the blob. Into the blob. And let's get ready to chin those nibblers when the blob dies. Come back here. I didn't hit, that's fine though. Let's send one more. Blow pipe on to clean up. Rigor doesn't come off. Lovely. Keep using restore, you have plenty. Just flicking the blob. Let's clean up these bats. Making sure I get the blob flick. Bit of a rain shit coming. I might expect this guy for a bit of healing. Kill the Major in case he respawns. He might respawn. Okay, we're fine. Let's Blowpipe finish all of this stuff. Pipe is like entirely fine. Not the cleanest way, but that's okay. And let's come back and just barrage. Hide behind North Pillar. Flick the blob. Now we don't have to be too afraid, because while we hit initially, we can just alternate this. Now let's go on this guy and start flicking a little bit. Chin. Good chin. Switch to blowpipe. Blowpipe spec this guy to kill him maybe or try to. Let's go to the safe spot which you can do here. And you chin the melee, not the ranger. The ranger always has more defense. So you chin the melee or the major. And then we finish with blowpipe. A little bit of a phantom maybe if you feel like it, if you can do it. Good. I think Restore should be fine for this run. Okay, Major and Melee. Melee is gatekeeping you, so just kill it. I'm gonna throw one chin on this Nibbler. Not a very good one. I can do one more. This is a bit of chin overuse. You should really go pipe it, but it's okay. Now just kill it, or if you can flick it by standing here and running up, that's great. You can do this. But just get into position, Tebow, and come stand next to it. I'd recommend uh, one ticking majors on the quick pros to be totally honest. Just makes life a bit easier. Saves you a bit more prayer. I may have to flick a bit more in this run because of what I'm doing. Okay. Oh, didn't get my prayer on. That's fine. Let's run away. Get my proper gear on and just kill this bat. Remember, if we stand three tiles away, we can hit it. If we stand here, melee is untrapped. Let's get chins on. I'll get the back one so it's closer. And then back on major. I'm afraid it might start moving, so I'm not going to attack it again. I'm going to keep hitting, uh, hitting the major. This guy's just dug. Just take a step back and try and get an off-tick. If in doubt, run a long way away, then run back in. 
Let's kill the bat first. And the reason why is so we can get to the Nilla's easier. More restore used. I probably brought too many brews in. Um, really, I should have quick prayers on with Mage. I mean, I've used, what, like four? It's probably fine, but it's going to be a bit close. Blood Barrage to start these waves for a bit more HP. And let's just attack the Mage unit. Oh, actually, that's a run because there's a bat going to be safeguarding us. Just come round. Here you can attack the Major and then flick melee. I think I'll uh, not use Rigor for a little bit. I just bought too many brews, I think. I'm not quite sure how much it'll take me. But I'm feeling a little bit lower than considered. It's probably a bit fast anyway, so it's fine. Let's just flick this blob. I can use chins here to clean up. And let's alternate the blob and the, ma uh, blob and the major. Just keep attacking, rigor on. You take a step like this, it gets really stuck. Let's bring it around the pillar so the blob gets pulled in. Chin zone. Good chin. Switch into our other gear. Great. More restore use. Let's run behind North Pillar, there's nothing here. Let's kill this bat, then consider going around, flicking the blob. Major can see us from here. This is a nice tile. We can hit the nibble. Let's come back here. Just a Tebow to get an attack in, like an attack. If you're trying to emulate this run, I would drop maybe one brew. And uh, take it a little bit slower, of course, but I'm trying to be a bit wary of my prayer. Seven is probably fine, it's a bit close. Let's blood barrage now, we're getting a bit low again, anything close to 80 is a bit low. Now we're dealing with the blob, so let's start flicking it. Get another barrage from the safe spot. Keep flicking the blob, go after the bat. Pipe spec on this guy, try and kill him ASAP. No luck. We can shit this guy from here. Now let's go for the big major. And we want control of the melee. After the attack we go in. A bit late. One more attack on major should kill it though. Let's kill this melee. stand next to him, we're a bit low, so let's heal with Barrage. And finish with that. Yeah, a bit concerned for my restore. Okay. Bomb Barrage and let's hide. Let's just kill this blob and make it easier. Or you can do like one attack and just like get some damage on it while we wait for the NPCs to get close. One nibbler here, let's just blowpipe it. Chaining a bit. 
I might set up a melee safe spot. Now we're using the melee safe spot. Let's kill the melee. Let's go. Standard safe spot, really nice for chilling. Let's come around, kill this guy, and we can kill this mini as we wait. Not a great shit, let's do another. Now let's switch. This guy, then the melee. Lovely. So as the waves are collapsing now, it's like double melee uh, major, we can use some blood barrage. I'm gonna wait for them to all clump up and do one more. And I'm actually just gonna run towards the major now. I just want to kill it first, and I can just run away from melees, so... This is a nice spot. Imagining it's a pillar, this is safe. Let's use it as a pillar. And let's use a blowback spec, see if we get a heal. 91 is fine for this kind of thing. What I want to do is use more Bastion again, so let's start using it. I've been neglecting it. If in doubt, use it, right? I have the supplies. As long as I have a couple of doses for Jads and Zuck as well, as long as I use the things, it's good. Okay, all the way back. No tank top on anymore. One barrage and solve the wave. Let's just stay still for a second, let it drag in. Back to the Nibble safe spot, hit this guy. Again. Then let's come around and hit this ranger and let the major just drag in. We can do some fun stuff like this. Come around the pillar. And if all you're doing is just praying mage and flicking mage and doing this, you'll still make GM time. Rig is very unnecessary. Get on. One barrage. We're not using chins at all really anywhere now. Only too many blobs. Safe spot. Start one ticking. Let's use chins to kill these guys. You can blow by bit as well. Back to our start time. One barrage, click the ground. Let's kill some stuff while we wait for the ranger or the major. You can go stand here and you'll be able to hit the major. But I prefer to do it the simpler way of just coming around and... As long as they're stacked like this, you just come around and you're fine. Don't worry about these pillars, they just don't matter. They never do. Range spray on. Chin over here. If it doesn't die, I go another chin. Another chin. Free wave. Ignore the nibbler. Well, 
toilet pipe to finish. And the chin over here is fine again. I'm gonna stand into him when he dies. Not a great chin, let's do one more. Seems good. If you can two tick, then try and do this, it's really nice. Got a nibble safe spot. Just get that guy. Not dragged out, no problem. Yeah, it's a lot faster to slay home. I just can't get a task or I don't care to get one. It's just about showcasing some of the plays and kind of like the the rough idea. Let's go around. You want north you want South Dakota to be dead by fifty. Preferably. It doesn't make a big difference. Alright, chin's on. Decent chin. Let's drag the major in, like this. If you're not flicking the blob, I'll just alternate. And just a cap mage free. Now this blood is a bit far away, so let's go over here and just come up and kill the bat instead, and let it drag in. Now I can go for it. Get the chins ready, we're still really high HP. The second we get low we would barrage this stack, and we're going to clean up with blowpipe, free that melee, and then we're going to kill this bat to get over here. Kill the bat, now we can come around. Chin on. No thing else either. Um, I can't really read that whole thing, mate. If you wait until after the run, I can then. One barrage, drag the major in. If in doubt, alternate this. Just go here and then, uh, at least the major's like on tick. You can also continue into two tick. Chins are not on long range, they're on rapid. Always rapid. There's no weapon in the game you put on accurate or on long range, other than Warhammer, really. Go kill this guy, come stand up close. Chins on. One more, not very good. Let's go meet the other blob. And again, if, if you're getting low HP or you're in a missing flicks or whatever, put on augury as it dies, switch into your gear and get a barrage off. And you can get like another one maybe, I don't know, it's not great. Tank gear. On task it'd be a lot, lot better if you want to use that. And again, you can blood barrage wave starts as well. Okay, come into the pillar, range spray. Let's use a blowpipe stick. And then wait for the major to come in and go meet the major. We want to kill it first, of course. Let's go after this nibbler. And this melee is going to uh, not really stop us. Let's use another dose of range pot. We can set it up. So we stand here and come in, using it as a pillar. And we have our safe spot. Same stuff as the other runs. Oh, thought it was dead. Let's use a pipe spec. Bit more HP, feels good. And our blood barrage next wave. Okay, range. Wait for this to drag in. 
Anger. Let's get blowpipe on, the bat's coming. Give out over pegs for your second KC on task. Oh yeah, Pe pegs are like extremely unnecessary. Maybe for sub 50 and beyond, not even that. Sub 45, you might want pegs. Let's run away from the melee. I can just run away. This isn't first cape anymore. We can use all sorts of things to save spot stuff, including other NPCs. So don't be afraid to just run randomly. It's not like we need to be in a really set position. Okay. Barrage. Let's come around the pillar to isolate the ranger. Uh, the major, sorry. Kill this bat. Mage prey coming around here and try and kill this guy as well. Looks like the mage is stuck. So we can pray range for a bit. Let's unfree him and take some hits. If the melee digs, I can even stand here because he's safe spotted. Pray range. Kill this guy instead. Keep attacking, keep attacking. Okay. Again, Blood Barrage is fine here. Let's just pray mage. Get our gear on. Just hit the melee. If they're off tick, we can try and flick. But there's no rush here. Blood pipe spec, if you're in danger. Never hit, so that's fine. Should be able to flick stuff like this. If it's not on tick, that's going to be a problem. Let's go around the pillar. And then back to the nether safe spot. And try and get these guys off the pillar. Good. So we're just pulling this guy a bit closer. You have to do that a lot. You can stand here if he's up here. But if he's down, you got to, like, come across. Let's go kill this way. Ooh. Wasn't quite sure. Okay. So in a lot of speed situations, you get stuff where the melee is in a bit of a weird spot. And in that case, I didn't take my time. Sometimes it pays to be a bit slow again. Try and get this guy. Of course he just dies on his own. I think restore's fine now. Stop flicking so aggressively. Let's barrage with a... Uh, this. When you get the spawn, just hide. Just hide and kill whatever's over here. Actually, we don't have to kill him. We can come around and attack. Now, I'm going to put Shins and Ellie on. And I'm just going to go over here and attack this, because I'm getting fucked on the pillar stuffs right now. And now we alternate. Let's come over here and kill this blob. Let's come over here, get away from the ranger. Really not fun ways. Bit scary. Let's brew. And let's use the dose of divine. Now we do have to protect the pillar now, it's getting a bit low. And the more you start these early speeds, the more this is going to happen to your pillars, which is fine. Let's use a blowpipe spec. Some HP. What way everyone? 61, that's fine. So we've got to play uh, Pillar Protection. Whenever you're doing this, start with Barrage. Always start with Barrage for this. All Grion is like very minimal, but it can help. Big Freeze, it's fine. Okay, so the, melee's, the Major is stuck right now. When the melee dies, we have to be aware that it's going to unstick. Like this. And now we're fine. So don't bother pay don't really bother like playing pillar protection until you get to like the 50s. Uh, and if it's on north pillar then you only have to really start being concerned when it is like properly red. And all it's gonna be is keep the Ellie on and keep shining. Keep the tank gear on, keep the Ellie on, keep shining. So 
nice chins. This is a really good setup again. Happens a lot. See if I can get a phantom off, maybe. 89 HP, lovely. Again, put a protection. This means we put Augury on, freeze. Okay, these guys need to dragon. Let's unfree the melee. And just alternate and kill it. So in a wave like this, it's a late wave, just take your time. Have a think. Take your time, you can tank it. And alternate. So there was no really clear easy solution there. And it took a second for me to just flick and take a few hits to have an idea of what I wanted to do. Some waves will be like that. Um, it's a hard wave in a couple of senses. It's also not that hard in a couple of others. It's hard if you panic. If you just sit still and try and flick prayers, you'll be fine. Oh, Tebow melee. Never lucky. Got plenty of prana. Like, all I did was sit here, have a think about it, unfreeze the melee, kill it, problem solved. And the problem is always... Not always, but it tends to usually be melees that are the problem. If you find creative ways to deal with them, even on speedruns, then you have a good time. Let's uh, have a think about where this ranger is going, because he's coming around the pillar. But I'm going to have to safe spot him. In a second. Let's safe spot it. And kill this guy. And come around with a low pipe and kill it. And our pillar is still fine, even on this HP it's okay. It's very protectable. Respawn melees can just be killed. Even if there's two of them. That one I can't reach right now, I gotta finish off the major. Or let in dig, so I can prepare a safe spot as always. Now we can go for him. Get the ranger. I think five or four brews would be a bit more appropriate. I mean, you can use our divine like all the time now. Proper gear on. One barrage. Okay. This is a case where I'm going to put my tank gear on, and I'm just going to go for the nibblers. Because they have to die. Now I can come around the pillar, and even though I'm taking these hits, I should be fine. Okay. This is even more tricky. Let's brew. Because what I'm going to do is I'm going to get that nibbler. Let's just triple brew. And get rid of it. So, because the pillar's solo now, my sole focus was get some HP and kill it. But with Ellie, with Protection Prayers, and with Rigor on, I'm not facing any issues. Now, this is another interesting wave. You can solve this by clicking the major and getting out this way, so like here to here and standard stack it. But to be honest, even in a speedrun, I would consider just maybe chin the ranger to death. It's, it's really like to that extent. There's a few ways to deal with this though. But in no way would I consider this trolling, even though it looks a bit ridiculous. I don't think people should be learning corner tech, they should be learning practical solutions. So, you can test this, as usual. A bit of an unusual stack. There's a few ways to do it. I just want practical solutions for now. Practical, easy solutions. You could come out and then go on the north side from south. That works too. So you could come out here and then run back here. And you can off-take them that way. The corner tech is just stupid, really. And now it's double major. Okay. 
We don't really have to worry about these guys, actually. I'll just let them kill the pillar. And now I don't quite have enough prayer to like fully camp rigor, but it's pretty damn close. Just like a bit of a uh, rigor, that's all. Should be divined all the way through now. Please don't respawn. And before? Thank you. We generally be doing a very similar thing. Once you get double majors. Oh, you, you can divine even earlier than that. You can, you can divine like 50s if you want to. As long as you save like two doses, one for Zuck and one for Chads, you're fine. So we're starting the same tile as we do on first games. Nothing different. Try and flick a bit more. Unless you have infinite prayer, then just, you know, use your prayer. And the difference is now we have chins. So we got our chins ready, and we chin the middle clump. Try and chin the back one. Blowpipe finish. And if it's single jad, you can always come and try and group them. If you're at this stage in the game, you should be able to play with jads a little bit. There shouldn't be much of a problem. You can do some fun stuff, especially on singles, not a problem. And again, same as uh, first capes, just come to the center, pray rigor, prepare. Come and stand on the right tile. No way. If you want a brew to full here, you can do. Another dose of divine is all okay. Or just regular bastion for safety. Chin's on. And uh, this is one of those nice solutions where it just gets stuck. You can take a step back like this. This is always a good idea. Chins up. This looks chinable. And there's just one on me, so we can do a little bit of flicking on two giants. And uh, this is plenty of used for Zuck as well. Again, not really a first cape thing, so no problem. Turn across. Stepping at the jet at the corner, trap them all. Okay. Going into Zuck, let's take a dose of Brew, dose of Super Restore, dose of Bastion, and even on, even on, you know, even even off task, this is fine. First Cape, this would be fine. So. Nice and chillin'. Go oh, get some hits in. At this stage, you should definitely be able to keep a 5 tick Tebow on Zuck, or like a 5.5 tick. And uh, rigor on the entire time, really. Click a little if you like. Stam whenever you want. You should have even, even one dose of stam is like fine. And for this, we're going to flick the sets. They're pretty good damage on Zuck. The way we flick sets, one more attack will get us to 600. One more. Come and stand on this tile here. 
I'll wait from safe spot. And just attack one into the other. Back on Zuck to get sub 600. And now we kill Major. The flicking sets is super chill. So for 65, you do want to do a Jad skip, it's nice and simple. We'll save you some time. So we're just going to tag Jad and that's it. Hello Jad, and then back on Zuck. At this point, get to 115, because it's healers up next. So let's through. Then use Bastion. Keeping our attack up. And just keep DPS going, another little stam. So we're looking to do healers next. Just watch Jad out the corner of your eye. Actually keep like camera on it. Camera visuals are really nice. And with the Jad skip, you just simply do not have to worry about uh, proccing another set. Now it's getting a bit scary because it's 287, so we don't really want to hit this. I can proc this. When it hits the corner, I can try. Now we tag all the healers. You can tag with Tebow if it's far like this, or with chins. I have chins actually. You can do chin tags. Having chins onto all of them is fine. If you're in a good position to blowpipe, just blowpipe. And uh, I think last time I tried to skip them, but of course you should be healing. So two hits in the corner. Don't be hasty to go over to this guy. Just patience. What's up there, bananas? Uh, nice. nice patience. Banana. <laughs> and we're trying to keep Jad in our field of view at all times. Just right-clicking all these healers down. Keeping Jad in our field of view. And now we brew. Always brew. Keeping Jad in our field of view, brewing to full. Restore is required. And maybe Divine here to finish it up as well. Hello Chris, thank you for the raid. Welcome, welcome. Gonna go outside dying a few. Enjoy it, man. It, uh, it's uh, lovely. So we shouldn't really be greeting the hit there too much. On some cycles you'll die doing that. Just trying to stay in front of the shield. And really keep your prayer book open as well. Prayer book open for Jad is really important. People sit on inventory and just like, okay, when he's not attacking, sit. And then back on prayer book. Don't greet these hits. Nice and slow. Sit prayer book. Nice and simple. Um, probably flicked a little bit too much, so I'd recommend maybe dropping like a brew. Or just, you know, I mean, this is off task sub 60, so you've got five minutes to spare doing this. Um, you can always improve the gear. You can always just uh, use a task and shave off an extra few minutes. And you don't have to use as much rigor. But it should feel fairly clean. On task, it should be nice and simple. Sub 65 is really just about attacking something. Do something. Just click things. Kill things. Um, you don't really have to have good setups, you don't have to overuse chins, 